They won't light up. They're making their dogs bark and they're fucking making them say shit. I got the game on. This is hitting Bobby Gray fucking right and left. I came out it's like 13. But it was only two to nothing, but I don't know what it is now. They might have four or five to nothing now. The Angels.
Hey, can you grab that cat food back there? No oh, good, you got some. I'm not getting right. any more. That's They're eating way too much. Mm -hmm. I just got that last week. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. They don't need I'll try to get them just one or two cans. Days. Yeah, I know. I'll try to keep the dogs away from it until he gets his full, at least. One or two cans a day should be enough. days here this morning the second time he's got a little Retired by Suarez as we check out the Tenko Insurance Defender of your Northwest about this season against the Angels. <coughs> Very strong. Yeah, a couple of home runs, one of them last night. They feel his presence. Mike Randon out, first case and walk, first time. Just pulled around way to the right. So pretty good job mixing it up. Sliders change up occasional curveball, moving a fastball around. Yeah. 
Definitely held that for a long time. He did. He was really one of that call. It was just off the corner. You're a criminal. Okay. 
Hey, never mind. Nothing. Why are you taking pictures? Huh? What is that? Why are you Nothing. taking pictures? Nothing. What's up? Huh? What's up with that? Nothing. Why are you recording? See? Huh? Why are you recording? I'm not recording you want me nothing. To yell at you? Not none of your business neither. It is my business when you're in fucking cars right there. If you're a gang stalker, it's all my business. I'm a gang stalker? I don't know if you are or not. I've been here longer than you. But there's you. criminals in here that are trying to mess with me and stuff, and I, well, I got a right to right, record anybody. That gives you the right to record my plate? Yeah, I do. Really? <coughs> I'm just... Out of fear? How do you know if I'm recording or not? I, I haven't said it. I can tell you I'm not stupid. We're all intelligent people, right? I don't know if you are or not. You're probably not. I don't not. know if you're not. I don't know if you're not. Why the fuck are you recording? Well, what's your name? My name is Jesus Salgado. Okay. I have nothing to hide. What's your name? None of your business. Exactly. We've been neighbors all this time. Why you got to be treating me like that? Well, I, I don't know who you are and what you're doing, but I, I hear people you. fucking yell I, out I shit all the fucking time. Guys. It's none of your fucking business. It is my business when you're standing no, there recording my shit. If you're a criminal, it's none of your fucking business. If I'm a criminal, it's not my business? If you're trying so to mess with me if, if I'm not a criminal, and try to say things down below, right? And stop so below. Right there. So, no, you're not so taking look, it. So look, if I'm not a criminal, you're saying if I'm a criminal, it's not my business. But I'm not a criminal, so therefore it is. Well, my don't worry about it. If you're not a criminal, but why are you? I didn't there? get everybody. I get everything in here. I, I believe that. That's all right. That's everybody's decision, right? We can do that. But why not be straightforward? Well, because the way you, you came at me like that. that. You're sneaking around. No, I'm not. I went down to check the mail. No, no, you're sneaking around with your com camera in front well, of Well, if you assault me, I want to rec re record it. But why? If, I, if we're still apart and we never had that issue, why you got to treat us like that? Like, I've had issues with them. I've had issues with them. Right. I've had issues with him. Right. Him. But and everybody but in here, almost issue. everybody in here. I've always Every time I come out here, there's somebody saying something underneath the freaking breath. I want to catch it on recording so I can turn it into the law. Exactly. So why why can't we be straightforward with each other? Because if I'm straightforward with you, you're not with me. How am I if I'm talking to you like a you man? You people aren't with me. You people? Well, <laughs> all the people in here. You people. So that's how you feel. You feel threatened by color? No. Because that that had nothing to do no, with look, it, dude. I, I know your wife. I go to Bymar. I know where she works. I'm very friendly with everybody. I, I've known you. I, I gave you your space. I know that that's how we... I know that's how you want to live. I know that's how I want to live. The only reason I'm having a little fit is because that's my mom's property. Why can't you so, be like, oh, well, look, we're having... All I want to do is record what people say and do in here. When I walk down and stuff, if she says something underneath the breath, I've read her... That old woman there, I heard her stand there and say something in her fucking cell phone. And I heard yeah. it down here in my fucking ear. Because I'm getting voice to skull shit, and I don't like it. I'm getting all this fucking music and people's fucking voices in my head. And people say that's crazy, but I want to prove that it's not. No, that's your right. That's what I'm saying. So, so that's what I'm out to. Well, that's all I need to know. Well, I got don't worry to about it. Well, I wasn't worried. I was just thinking, like, why? Well, why, man? I mean, if you're not a gang stalker, don't worry about it. But that's what I'm going to do. All right. Well, I have to prove it. i got to no, get that's, that's, that's totally people fine. that belong in federal prison because it's yeah. a violation of my fucking human rights. Yeah. To be true. I cannot sit there and fucking watch TV without people <laughs> making shit fucking coming into my fucking ear. My wife don't hear it, but I hear it. I record it, and she'll hear it on the recording. Because i got a voice recorder, too. There's not too, a camera. Man. I would too. But there's a voice recording here. But there's a way to be like that. There's a way to like approach people when you do it. Well, I, I've tried the right way. 
and I'm still doing it as legally as I can. Yeah, there, there's a thin line, and as long as everything you stay I've done line, is legal. Yeah, as long as there's we nothing do wrong, it. wrong with what I'm doing. Yeah. But I need to prove, if you're not one client, I'll shake your hand. You tell me that you're that. not a gang stalker. I appreciate that. And stuff, but and if like people said, are out I here violating my life. fucking rights and violating, you know how many, how many fucking these motherfuckers are fucking raped with this shit. A four-year-old fucking girl and made her shit her fucking pants. And then they fucking prosecute me of fucking doing shit. That is why I'm fucking, I haven't done a goddamn motherfucking thing. I've lived here for fucking almost 20 years. Have any of your kids fucking, uh, fucking said anything yeah. about me? No, I've, I've had my kids talk about other people. And it's wow. very personal when, like, you wouldn't, you know. I understand, look, I understand what you're, what you're doing. But that, that's what they do. They fucking, they tell people, oh, he's a fucking baby raper, he's a child molester, she's a fucking alcoholic, he's this, he's that. Then they get you people to fucking say shit underneath your breath to fucking make us fucking go yeah, nuts look, and so we'll look, attack somebody. I've always respected you as a person, I've always respected your home, and okay. I've, I've been here long enough to know how... I've seen your dogs. I, I know some of them passed yeah. away. All that stuff. All that. I've had stuff. either him or somebody killed my other fucking dog out and here. My dog kidding. got Jack pregnant, so I, I understand. But look, like she got poisoned I, by one of these fuckers. Like, the only reason I care is my mom. You know that's my. Well, mom's I, I don't have nothing against your mom. I don't have nothing against you or anything. But I have to do this to uh -huh. prove my case. I was a, I have a person helping me. I respect. She's that. going through it too. The military people in the military. Yeah. Anybody that that like whistle blows against stuff they hit them to fucking try to get them incarcerated or in a fucking loony bin or some kind of fucking thing so that's what i'm doing but you know i do know a couple things and i know that if you don't state that you are recording then that eliminates that recording no matter if that person did come out and say oh i did it if you recorded it without them without you telling them i'm recording in law that they can't hold it up you got to tell well, them well there's a I have a person that the only thing I'm recording is so they can analyze it. I I know I can't use this technically in a court of law. Right. But there are things from the recorder because there's frequencies, see, radio frequencies, go through the sky and they, they can trace it back yeah. to the perpetrator. Yeah. And that's what I need to do. I I record because because of that. Look man, we're in the same boat. My mom's just as worried as you are. Huh? My mom's just as worried as you are, and we're in the same boat. Like, I get what you're What saying. was she worried about? The rest of the folks. Like, her things, oh, her things been, been um, people have been going in there. And not oh, just really? black people, not just brown people, white folks. So it doesn't really matter what yeah, the I'm not right. Oh, I'm not prejudiced. You're, you're, you're stating it like that. That's, that's huh? offensive. No, that's I, I, I don't care what color anybody is. And like, look, I may use bad language, but... That's not what you mean. I'll call my dog the N-word as much as a white guy. If he acts like a the N-word, I'll call that, that guy the N-word anytime they want because well, that's what they're acting like. I hope it doesn't matter know. if they're white, black, brown, Hispanic, or Oriental or anything like that. You know, to me, it don't matter. My dad used to be prejudiced, but I never was. I had to fight with him for years and stuff because he was always, he'd get up and walk well, away. I, just like right now, I appreciate it for your Well, yeah, I'm not practicing. Right. But for the last couple of years, I've had people act strange around me. I think and I need to find me. out why and where it's shit's coming from. Do you, you hear anybody tell you that I am a uh, criminal of some kind? This is the first let time I'm hearing of it, and it's because of your bounce. You're well, the one saving it. I hear it here. Like, all I, right now, I'm hearing like all, all kinds of fucking music and stuff. All these motherfucking singing into my fucking head. Oh, man. And it's on this recorder and it's on voice recorder. If I can record it, that is not mine. Look, all that I is, ask, all that I is radio is frequencies like, coming through the air. All I ask is to be straightforward. I, I don't step on people's shoes. I don't, I don't like being disrespectful. You might not even be in recorded because I'm still trying to learn what this thing is. But you're, you're probably on voice. Is that okay? That's all right. Okay. Like well, I have your permission. Yeah. And stuff, but well, I was walking a little bit away, but I was recording people and their their license plate numbers because that's what I see in here to do to gain evidence right. in a court of law. Right. I have but that T-shirt. Have you, you seen have that T-shirt? It says forward. gang stalkers. It's a felony. It is. It's a felony in every 50 state. 
uh, harassment is like only a misdemeanor, but I'm trying to get misdemeanor up you're to like a close. felony. You're pretty close, man. Huh? Like, we got to be straightforward or else people can mis misconstrue, misinterpret, miss everything, like... And stuff. Yeah. Well, I've had her stand up there, say something in her fucking cell phone, and, and I heard it in my fucking ear. Grandfather. Well, I can tell you that, like... My mom and I have nothing to do with these issues wow. that are going on. We all That's have the same issues. That's good. I I hope not. But yeah. I've had her say that. I have a parabolic. I have a parabolic hearing thing. I can walk at night sometimes. It's like a thing. It's like a parabolic dish. I try to catch what people are saying and stuff. Just well, to see if well. they're sending shit. Because even just sound. Because if I turn down the sound. Their stuff turns down too. I can hear this as I'm talking to you. At the same time I'm talking to you, I can still hear it. If it was just me being, you know, woo, it would shut off the second I start talking and it's stuff. Than that. I but I mean, the best, honestly, but you do you know what a gang stalker is? When yeah. I told you that, yeah, yeah, gang stalker is like mobbing somebody. Yeah. People fucking peck on somebody because they think he's wicked, yeah. evil, or something like that, yeah, and it's not right. or weak. It's not and stuff. I'm not weak. I've been living this, this shit for two years since no, since November of 2020 when the pandemic was coming in and stuff. Just because I don't want to take a fucking vaccine. Look, There's a lot of things I've done on mine to report. Some of the things I say about truth out of out of scripture. I am a Christian and stuff. But yeah, right now I'm hearing my name means oh, you know, all these fucking people are fucking singing in my well, fucking ears because they're complaining. Uh -huh. And they don't want me to read the Bible. Every time I've read the Bible, I used to zap the piss out of my fucking ears at night when I'm trying to fucking sleep and stuff. But I'm trying to do this as, as low on the ground as possible and investigate whoever these motherfuckers are. And just because I called the cops on him one time, the cops are in on it too. Cops, federal agents and stuff. So I, I've had threats. I've had a phone call here not long ago. They called my place and said, you're in trouble. We've killed people before. Some woman saying, we've killed people before. And so I recorded that and I kept it. So, you know, but I'm investigating everything I can, as legally as I can, to fight back. Because nobody's ever fought back. Everybody's been afraid of these, these punks and this stuff. I don't care if they are cops. I don't care if they're FBI, CIA. I'd rather... There's a good saying that goes around. Plus, the mark of the beast, you know. The, There's a good saying that goes around that says it's better to live on your feet than live die. Knees. Yeah. No, die, die on your knees. knees. Yeah. Then live on your knees. Some yeah, like like, yeah, like, yeah. Better to die on your feet than to die on your knees. To live so, on your knees. Yeah, yeah. that's. So honestly, I wish you the best. Yeah. So thank you for your time. Yeah. So I'm not up to anything against you or anybody else. It's just, just so me. I need to know. Evidence. That's all, that's all it is. All right, thanks. Again. You hear that out there? Pitch from Robbie Ray. Robbie's oh. out seven. Yeah, coming back from getting the mail, Two and that fucking kid got into my face touch. and asked me, What the fuck am I doing? I said, Many are fucking business, is what I'm doing. <laughs> but then we got here. Nine one and two here in the fifth, Duggar. Then I told him, you know, there's a lot of fucking either stalkers or gang stalkers in this fucking place. So I'm a gang stalker. I, I don't know if you are one or not. So I'm looking for evidence. And then calm down and we start talking. He said, I have no, he said he knows here. He's been in the bar mart several times and stuff. And then something about his mom, somebody breaking into her house or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I called him, you know, a lot of shit that I've had happened around here the last couple of fucking years. I said, all I'm doing is collecting evidence. I said, I showed him my voice recorder and I showed him my, my pin camera. I should, should have got a little smaller one, I guess. It's not so 
conspicuous as I thought. But I don't have anything to put it in that my pocket, but then I don't record nearly as good as I'd like. But I told them, you know, I can't even fucking watch TV without these motherfuckers interfering with what I fucking hear. I said, you don't hear it unless I record it. Then you hear, when I record it, you hear all that shit. I thought about all the extra sloppy, slurpy shit. I know you said you've heard it a few times. You might not hear it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but you hear the extra, I mean, yeah, you know, the extra screech. I heard these motherfuckers on the fucking TV. Baby Raper, when he fucking throws a fucking pit. Right there. Although that was just a screech. But I told the fuckers, these fuckers, you know, these gang stalkers, they tell fucking lies about fucking people. They try to say they're baby rapers, they're Todd Westers, they're, you know, alcoholic, they're this, that, and another. Try to get that, that person to fucking go off and kill a bunch of fucking people and or fucking kill themselves. Or end up in a fucking loony bin. And shit. I said, the only thing I'm doing is trying to collect evidence. I said, the shit I fucking hear, because I told him, you know, hopefully he won't go to the cops, because he does fine, I got evidence. I told him, the shit I hear, if you fucking, when I can hear as I'm talking, I can still hear that tone and that fucking music at the same time I'm talking to you right now. If it was my mind making plain tricks on me, that would stop. As soon as I start talking, that would stop. I mean, that's logical to think that way. Because it was just a hallucination or me sub vocalizing or doing other fucking things. It would, uh, it would quit. Right there, that guy screamed. Oh, yeah. One and two. Then he took my hand and he walked away. When I walked down there, though, there was one fucker pointing his fucking cell phone at me, and I just I turned my camera on him, and as soon as I turned, I heard two strikes. Baby Raider. I don't know if it's him or if it's a kid yelled out. I don't even know what I got from this thing, but I need to... I called him, you know. These fuckers, they go around and they check on fucking people they think are weak. I'm not fucking weak. I'm not fucking weak fucking, fucking minded person. They're fucking a show. I made it not easy, but I ain't fucking stupid. He's going to get there. They took on fucking weak people. And, that was not and a then he said, oh yeah, better to live standing than to die in here, to live, well, live on the knees. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if it's a cop. Or who these motherfuckers are. Right really. Like, fucking, if I'm gonna get killed, I'm gonna fucking stand up and tell them fucking what I fucking believe in. And fucking rather fucking live like a fucking coward. Had a little bit of a stutter going into second, but he made up for it the rest of the way. Listen now, well, that's why I'm in this you know. I'm not giving a spirit of fear. I'm not fucking living here. Those pits will be I single to left. They're going to carry him for the first time. I don't care with a hope. That people are fucking trying to make up and create fucking make people think that it's not coming back if it's God not coming back when it was 50 years or 100 years. Hi, and he's safe. Came off the oh, bat. fuck. Run scores through nothing angels. I'm still not going to fucking walk in fear. But too, I told the guy, if you stop me, I want to find recording because that's what it is. They try to train people. I came right back down on the base. Face up fired, Whatever, things where the guy fucking 
walking down the street and somebody picking on him and he took a first punch or the other guy took a first punch and then stalked him the first punch. But he's out to me. But then other people came around and said, oh yeah, it was the other guy fall. He to come back down so down he, the but then some guy goes to fucking jail or a fucking loony man. Playing the ball game. Yeah, the Baron's struggling a little bit on the offensive end of this one. You still had his foot on the bag. Make the score off. Make the shot 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 off. Make the to a lot of pitches, maybe four pitches for five innings. That's a lot. That's review. The ball is over third. The runner is out. Seattle is in the south. Big out. A very big out. Let's see if the Mariners get fussed up this perfecto. Yeah, they took it back. off and they call them out. Southern California last week. And so the Mariners were in town, and here they are. Hard to see it. Time to get some hits. Before it gets too late, more is perfect so far. Five strikeout. So 66 pitches with the first pitch here to Salad. One on. Pop it up. Yeah. And the takes strike. 16 up, 16 down. Pick up the Beach Road Mariners Hall of Fame bobblehead on Sunday, yeah. August 28th. Yeah, against the Cleveland right, Guardians. The 20,000 yeah, fans. This is one of the U.S. most exclusive yeah. collectibles featuring Beach Road's MVP, the Rookie of the Year. Three silver sluggers and tied gold gloves in the ticket to Mariners. Dot com slash each row. Frazier. Come on, who's going to bust this thing up? Frazier grounded out first base of Jared Walsh. That's a hot hitter. What did they do? Get tired? Tired? Not him. To deny everything? Drive back up the middle. What? What they do? Get to you and tell you to buy everything and stuff? Who? Gang stalkers and stuff. No. I hear people fucking do that. They tell people fucking to target their own family members. Yeah. No. Huh? No. 
out and old Smith does this right now. And how about this perfecto, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that I mean, the lofty, you want to see it broken up, but, uh, you what the matter is, it's similar to what Sandra did back in Seattle, right, that breaking ball down into all these varieties, I feel like that's been stuck it a couple happened to me. And, uh, just all the soft stuff, too, it's not trying to ton of fast, because yeah, we can't treat that 92, it looks like 102, but he's been tough, he's been tough all year against the Mariners. Yes, indeed. I think a pretty good approach would be to try to get him right back up the middle if he can, instead of trying to pull the ball. Yeah, I mean, you see that a little bit, you know, from the, from the, the Mariners lately, too. I think sometimes, you know, with, with this team, they're, they're starting to click on, on, you know, all cylinders here. I think offensively, they're getting these, these ruts where they, they start to press a little bit. I mean, you see that from Ty France a lot, um, you know, and, and even JP there for a little bit, too. But like I said, Mike, I think it's one of these things, and you know a lot better than me, but just trying to stay right back through, right back through the box there to the uh, kitchen. Hey, there it is right there. Perfect. There you go. Right on the money. What are you seeing from Robbie? I think he's still in right now. I think that that Colin's overturn last inning was massive because well, all of a sudden he gets I in the rhythm. That's why he's so inconsistent. And, uh, right all, and then you have Otani. You make a mistake. You get two strikes against him. You made him look bad. And then you, then you hang a pitch and he's able to get to it. What a great swing. He's still able to drive the ball. Yeah, then you have Rodrigo right, right after that. Yeah. Get him to hit something in the ground. You get a little bit exhausted here, but trying to make the perfect pitch. And you get the call over 10. So I think that was huge. I think with Robbie Ray, and, and this is what I love about watching him go to work, he had those three rough outings, and then he had a really good one against these Angels, where I think his stuff was the best. G and all that kind of crap. And uh, he was dominating. I, think, I love what he said after the game. He said, I was, going, I was scuffling a little bit. And I just said, you know what, I'm just going to throw this as hard as I can. Here it is, hit it, and just go right <laughs> after these hitters. Because it is so easy Come to fall in this trap when you do scalp a little bit to you try and reinvent the wheel. Know, and I love the fact that he just had that, that mindset of, you know, I'm just going to grunt a little louder, and you're going to hear it. Well, Sam Haggerty, he's right in the middle of something again. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. That's you and Andrew of Mariners Post game. Right after the game. And how about we uh, re revisit the one-two pitch to Adam Frazier? Again, Adam has been hot, going the other way. Not trying to do too much. I hear the motherfucker fingers there. It's our way, that's for sure. Fuck him. They can repent. Just like anybody else can fucking repent. It's only the shape of the pitch now. 74 pitches. Amen. Two games, Two games, one start against the Mariners, one and all record with only 7 ERA. Let's see what Julio can do. Strikeout. Well, he's due. He's sitting on an 0 for 16. If he like to put a little weight on that, weight out on that right now. Trying to stay at two chinnies. <laughs> Do nothing, Angels. Another base hit. All right, Eddie will put up the stop sign. The bases are loaded. The Julio breaks his 0 for 16 with a knock here with one out. Loads him up for Ty France. He's looking to break an 0 for 13. We get a high curveball. It jams him a little bit, but he's so strong. Put the base here. Easy yeah, situation for the Mariners. One out, and base is loaded for Josh France. Straight up. Now with the best batting average on the team. You heard getting a right hander beating up for the Angels. You heard it, there he is. I have been between 330 and 340 all year. Base is loaded, one out. Man, that's not a good pitch going tonight. Talking about that before the game, there's much improved changeup that he's been using. 
the numbers just get better on it all the time. Go along with the slider. One and one, one out, base is loaded. Two nothing, Angel. Two balls, one strike. Service looking for a big knock right here. He goes move to the middle of the diamond. Die hitting 329. Runners in scoring position starting tonight. Runs through. Two balls, two strikes. Right now, I'm hearing him. This he laid on the fastball and had to up on the changeup. Right at the top of the zone. They're saying our role is my role. You don't hear that, but I do. But I have it on recording because I'm still recording. Work recording. Opportunity knocking loud here for the Mariners. Two, two, fit. Full count. On, walking in. Jesse Winker, left hand hitter, he's on deck. trying to make this a pivotal moment in this ball game. The Bluetooth pitch from Suarez. Yeah, he just got a piece of that, right? Give me a curveball. Even came in with oh, the fastball 3-2, he throws a curveball. Uh, maybe even a changeup. Good play, let's see what he wants to do now. Hey, I'm going to have a good Yeah, that's fine. Here we go again, three and two. The deal away, there we go! Yes! Here's your score. Going around Haggerty, Julio will get the stop sign. Ty France doing Ty France things, going opposite field, scores two, ties it at two. The RBI, he's got 59 now. It's been a fantastic inning for the Mariners after Suarez retired the first 16 men that he faced. Single, 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 well, single. Kept the runs on the board. After all these fucking yeah. years. He's living here. And everybody complained about that fucking kid. Didn't you know that's the first time I've ever heard of Ty, this is when he's at his best. Why he hit 330 runners in scoring position. Willing to go the other way. <coughs> all the faces are driving a couple of runs to tie this game up. We will step aside, regroup, and when we come back, Jesse Winkers going to be swinging it. Mariners have tied it up here in the sixth. Now, all of a sudden, there's this kind of thing that's slow. Fucking rhythm and fucking song, where it's all sad and shit. A ring of fucking spicy chicken strips. While I'm at it, my most popular former employee, Mark Hamill. Well, what's my motivation? To not get fired again. I can work for that. Actors. Spicy chicken strips and me, Mark Hamill, back for a limited time. From SNL to Hollywood, and now at the all-new EQC Event Center, Rob Schneider's I Have Issues Tour with comedian Rob Schneider, September 29th. See you around Get ready for a night of laughs. The master of Motown, Smokey Robinson, up close and personal, October 22nd at the all-new EQC Event Center. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. Only at Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Hey, Dad, the most out. Hey, got you. Any questions, Chris? All good. Thanks, Mom. Help you is managing all your family's prescriptions in one app. We always believed the welcoming spirit was a small town thing. Turns out, we were wrong. Wherever Jim Beam is welcome, he'll be welcome too. My 100% all white meat spicy chicken strips are back. Look at them sitting there. Just sitting there. Can't believe we hired a director for this. 
Spicy chicken strips starting at 5.49 are back at Jack in the Box. Here's kind of mayhem you like. Time now for the all-state mayhem moment. Warren is dealing early on. Perfect in five innings. First out in the sixth inning with four consecutive hits, but pretty good stuff mixing it up. Good slider and change of combination today. That'll be it for him. Four and a third, four hits, all in a row. Very tiny game. 82 pitches for him. It was sensational for the first 16. Four consecutive hits now. Winker with a chance. The runner third, one out to give the Mariners the lead. Two runs, four hits for the Mariners, two runs, five hits for the Angels. And that's the chance. Julio can run. Here's the throw by Turner Ward. Julio, he's in there. Jesse Winker gives the Mariners a 3 2 lead with the sack fly. Yeah. That's on the first pitch. That's hand aggressive. Hit with a couple of RBIs in last night's ball game. First pitch to him. At the top of the zone. Looks like a little breaking ball to him. 74 miles an hour. Just deep enough. That's a good operation right there. Very good frame here for the Mariners. It's going to go for two. Last time up, lined out for left field. I got a fucker, man. You like one? Yeah, you did. You didn't make it here, man. You did. And a split. That's a slider on the outside corner. I got him on the corner. The voices were still working. Five balls, that'll do it, but a very productive inning. See the Mariners, they put three on the board. Come on, man. And have a 3-2 lead. Yeah. And now it's time for the Stofami Casino Hydro Challenge, better. which both of you think will win. Yellow bug yesterday and the red one won. Oh, yellow bug again. Yeah. Myself lately. I've been trying to find a better way to save my money, but I keep dragging my feet. Oh, sorry. Oh, I know. What a surprise. You know, we're going to have side by side comparisons at the top side of your savings account. That way you can make the smartest decision and get the most of your money. Oh, that's incredible. How'd you do that? I thought you did. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. Home internet yet? Turn your hedge. It's 50 bucks a month with no price hikes. Bam! Sir! It's on T-Mobile wireless 5G network. All you gotta do is plug in one cord. T-Mobile 5G home internet. Just 50 bucks a month. No price hikes
Up for the board, top of the six for Robbie Ray. And the Mariners a 42 lead now. Uh, uh, four hits. Robbie's got the lead now. It's good work. Really good work on his Angels. There's Turner Ward who's walked twice. Probably at 85 pitches. Probably his last inning. And the bullpen is going to work right now. 